Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to be solving problem 30 which is the digit 5th power. Surprisingly, there are only 3 numbers that can be written as the sum of 4 powers of their digits. Then it gives us the 3 numbers here. It says as 1 equals to 1, the 4 is not a sum and it's not included. Right? So now we can start with the value 1, at least for the loop. For the sum of these numbers is, and then you add them up, you get the sum of that. Find the sum of all the numbers that can be written as the sum of their of their fit powers of the digits. All right, so when you look at this question, uh, there is no place to end. They give you a start. So the start for the loop is at two. However, for the end, uh, there, there isn't any. So what I did was I looked at the four powers, right? And I looked at the number. Well, for the highest number that you can go up to would be 99999, right? So I figured, you know what, to get the max for the fourth, you would take nine times the fifth power and multiply that by um, five. And that should give you some range to work within, right? And that's what I did. And then when you find the solution for that, you can optimize the actual limit where you can get up to, all right? So based on the answer, you can pick where to start and where to end. Just because the base case works for this solution, it doesn't mean that uh, it will work for the next um, power up. And I found that when I did this problem, was even though I got the, uh, uh, four powers right and when then I substitute the fourth powers for the fifth power um, I got it wrong and with the fourth power you can increment by three and or one you can increment by two and three and still be able to get the answer right uh, for the fifth power you can only increment by one so um, let's go ahead and take a look at this solution all right so let me pull up this and let's create a new file in here. Call this one fifth digit powers dot Java public class fifth digit powers. All right. So now we have that. Let me go ahead and. There we go. So what we need is to pretty much get the uh, powers, right? So once we get the powers, uh, then we can go ahead and add them up and see if uh, that equals the number. So there are ways that we can do this. We can either use a string. Um, string builder work good for this one. And then we have to convert it back to an int, multiply those. It seems like hard work. So what I'm going to do here is pretty much use the same reverse method that we normally use, but instead of keeping track of the actual value, we need to re return back. I just want the individual digits. So I'm going to create a private uh, static int here. It's going to be uh, some power digits. And what we need to take in here is the value that we want to and the power all right so now we have that we need something to keep track of the solution so I'm going to say solution is going to equal to zero for now all right and so we're going to say while the value is not equal to zero Of our remainder, so we take the last digit, I'm going to equal to the value mod 10. Next, what we want to do is we want to say that the solution is going to plus equal math dot power. They want to pass in the remainder. And the power. So we're just reversing the digits. And then to get the 
next number, we're going to do value divided by equal to 10. And once that is done, we can just go ahead and return the solution. And that's it for getting the powers. Then we need another method. So it's going to do, be a private static int. And call this one fifth power digits. And space makes lowercase. Here, what I want to do is I want to take in the, the, uh, end so we need the end so this is where we're going to figure out what to end and we need the power all right all right so what we want to do is we want to go ahead and still keep track of the solution it's going to equal to zero all right now in the for loop so for there and the start we want to make it to be the smallest number that we can find for the fit powers. And you have to run this uh, algorithm first to figure this out. But I'm going to give it to you guys here, okay? So normally you would start this loop at 2 and increment by 1 all the way to um, 9 to the 6 power times 6. That will give you the, at least give you the limit, some limit to work with. And then eventually, once you're done with that part, you can just do a print out statement like I did and figure out where to start and where to end. The thing is to not use uh, too much competition of powers running useless values and only run them within the range of the actual answer. All right. So the start is going to be 4150. That's the smallest we can get. All right. And then we need to say that the start. is less than or equal to the ends and for the end as well you have to play around with that I'm gonna do a start plus plus we're gonna say uh, there uh, current is going to equal and then we're gonna get the um, method that I wrote up here which is the power, the sum power digit. And what we want to do here is pass in the start and then the power. Next, we're going to say that if start is equal, equal to current, then what we need to do is we're going to say that the solution plus equal to the uh, current all right or the start so you can just do start doesn't really matter it's the same number all right and once we're done here all you gotta do is just go ahead and return the solution and you're pretty much done so like I said here uh, let's go ahead and create main and we'll figure it out so All right, so what we need to do is we need to, so pretty much we need to get the end, right? So the end is gonna equal. And to find the end, like I told you guys, you would take the biggest number value that we can get, which is nine. We need it in the six places. So we'll say nine to the sixth power. And then uh, we need to um, multiply that by six, all right? To get some limit where we wanna work with. I did that before. And I realized that the value that I, the maximum value that I got was in the 2000, uh, 200,000 range and the max limit that I had was way too high so I had to reduce that and this is how you optimize this problem so I'm gonna keep it at 200 uh, 200,000 right, right for the end and then for the power it's going to be 5 all right then we can do system dot out dot print line and then do fifth and we pass in the end and the power all right so now I can go ahead and you know what let me run this in uh, 
bash just because it's a little bit more cleaner so do shift and click get here hmm. all right so we can do ls and you see I have the 2000 there but we want to run the fifth one so it's the Java F hit the tab key enter and it says I am I have an error okay so we're gonna go back here and take up this one and let me just clear this for a second all right so do Java C F hit the tab key enter it should run Java F and hit the tab key take out the dot and run it and this is the solution for this problem all right guys this will be it for this tutorial I hope you guys enjoy it I'll see you guys in the next tutorial have a good day bye bye